Back here at home, an investigation continues this morning after a hotel fire in Waikiki. Now, it broke out last night at the Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel on Kalakaua Avenue. Dallas Ontiveros joins us now live from the scene with the details. And Dallas, what can you tell us? Good morning, Christine Ross. That's right. The investigation is still ongoing this morning after a fire broke out around 8:30 last night here at the Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel. Now, what we know so far is that HFD sent out 15 units to respond to this three-alarm fire. To find out, most of the fire was controlled from automatic sprinklers in Unit 1417. Now, according to a witness we spoke to yesterday, who was actually with his family on the same floor, he said he started to smell and see smoke coming out of the room and called 911 right away, and then the front desk right downstairs. He shares more details with us after evacuating. Go ahead and take a listen. We came downstairs and I called 911 because they were so nonchalant about, you know, this is serious business. We saw the smoke. We heard the sprinklers on. We ran down the stairs. We were certain of, that it was on fire and they, they weren't taken serious. So I called 911 and he's instructed me to go back up and tell him to uh, give an evacuation order. I talked to a battalion number two, I think. Now, as of this morning, we do see a few visitors coming out of this hotel, and we did speak with them about last night's incident, and they did say that the staff here at the hotel remained calm, and they just wanted everyone to evacuate safely. But this investigation is still ongoing. No cause of the fire just yet, and we don't have any word about the family or, you know, of the person who was staying in Unit 1417 where the fire took place. But as soon as we get those details, we will keep you posted on our website at khon2.com or in our later newscast. Reporting from Waikiki, Dallas and Rose, singing back to you guys with more.